Now let's look at some basic tools for editing clips. To begin, if you will mouse over a clip, you'll see some helpful icons and information. This top icon lets us know if a clip has already been cropped or otherwise deleted. You see the little crop symbol means it already has been changed. Below this icon is a number that tells us the duration of the clip in seconds. And finally, we have a settings button that we can click on to access editing tools. Let's begin by clicking this button. From the menu that appears, select Clip Adjustments. You have a variety of editing tools available here. The first is to adjust the length of the clip by simply entering a shorter or longer duration. Next is a menu of some really nice video effects. These transform a video clip by applying a broad range of changes all at once, such as turning a clip into a black and white piece. Next, a slide tool lets you choose to speed up or slow down a video clip, and it can be reversed by clicking on the checkbox. Below this are audio adjustments which add special filters to any sound in a clip, including voices. Next, there's a tool that lets you stabilize an image that might be shaky due to an unsteady hand during filming. And finally, the rolling shutter stabilization helps smooth out video that may be jittery due to a subject being very animated. When finished exploring the clip expector, Clip ins Inspector, click on the Video tab to the right. Under the Video Adjustments tab, there are options to adjust the brightness and color saturation and tint of the clip. These changes are accomplished by dragging the slide for each option to the right or left until the desired appearance is achieved. Now click on the Audio Inspector tab. The Audio tab has features that will raise or lower a clip's volume, reduce the volume of a secondary clip, such as background music, or cause audio to fade in or out gradually. Click Done when finished. Now click on the Clip Tools icon again and select Clip Trimmer. This tool simply allows for the precise trimming of the length of a clip by clicking and dragging the edges of the yellow clip sec selection box. Notice that the clip trimmer keeps the full uh, clip actually intact. However, it is now shortened up here in the project browser. Okay, next click on the cropping and rotation option. Here you'll find some cool stuff. You can crop a video to show only a portion of the screen, restore it to full screen, or add a Ken Burns effect. This is where a video transitions from one shape and position into another. It's a really nice artistic effect. This is done by setting the starting size and position, like so, and then clicking on Start so that End is now displayed, and now set the ending position. Finally, what if you just want to remove a portion of the middle of a video 
such as a cough or a missed line. This can be easily done. Simply highlight the undesired portion in the project browser and press delete on your keyboard. Alternately, you can actually select split clip from the clip menu at the top of the page, then delete or rearrange any necessary sections. These editing tools, when you get the hang of them, will allow you to do most of the common editing tasks that are necessary to create new movie projects. Next, we're going to look at how to add text, music, and images to enhance our movie.